2020 was the year we thought we were all going to get our dreams, our aspirations, our hopes, the bag, the bay, the boo, the vacation, and all the good things of life. Done. Well, it might have been for some, but it wasn't largely across the board. 2020 was a lot. Things took a downward spiral and things just were uncertain and just all over the place. And one important thing I learned throughout 2020 is gratitude. Welcome to another episode of BK Says. I am Blessing Career. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, it's been a minute. I know. I've not been here as much as I should, and 2020 has been absolutely bonkers. We all agree we didn't start the year expecting to be locked down. We didn't start the year expecting to have our plans disappear into thin air. But here we are today. This video is the last vlog for 2020 and it was inspired by a thought I had sometime in November. I had worked with a certain client for my own voiceover and it was one of the clients I had noted down that by the end of the year I wanted to work with and just threw the paper somewhere without like giving thought to it. And I had worked with quite a number of people I had desired to work with on certain type of projects I wanted to be on. But when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I really am glad that I worked on this. And in that same moment, I was like, oh, but I didn't get to work with this and this and this, and I didn't get to do this and this and this. And my skincare business didn't get to this point, this point, this point where I wanted to get to. And my master's was on hold. And all the other things that didn't happen started to rile up. And I, and I got a bit pessimistic. And, and the Holy Spirit was like, but you're alive. This year has been a lot, guys. And gratitude for me It's something I, I had to force myself to. I I broke down. I was like, oh my god! I never noticed how ungrateful I had become. Always in search of like the next big thing, always in search of the next conquest, so to say. That I failed to pat myself on the back or say, well done, blessing. You're doing good, blessing. I commend you, blessing. I'm proud of you, blessing. Oh, I'm buying you this. Uh, I'm buying you. Say for instance, I'm buying you this product, blessing, to gift yourself because you're amazing, blessing. I I wasn't doing that. And I said I was going to start doing that consciously because I've tried. It's the glory of the Lord. I have done my best and I've had grace and everything going on. Some things didn't go well, but some of the things did. So I know that this year was the year we thought we were going to have it all. I know that we all thought this year was going to be the year we were going to have a big break or the year that was going to revolutionize our existence. And it, it may, might have started out that way, but it might not have ended up that way. But I really want you to sit back and think and count your blessings because in the quest to constantly achieve something or to build on something. Now, this is not saying you should be complacent or laid back or lazy, but give yourself some credit. You are doing amazing. You are doing excellent and you have worked so hard to be where you are. Give yourself that credit. And trust me, you start to feel better and it helps boost your, well, I say morale to get you to do more things and to be willing to explore and expand your horizon and just generally achieve more. So in the next few days, I will be dropping the house art proverbs that I drop at the end of the year. Normally three days, I start on 30th, 31st and the 1st of January. Proverbs that have stood out for me based on my experiences in 2020. I'll share them on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well as on YouTube because some of you follow me just on YouTube. So please do well to watch them. I think you'll find some of those proverbs and nuggets very, very useful. So do well to check out this page. I'll be sure to post videos consecutively leading up to the 1st of January. So help me God. <laughs> um that will be all for this video thank you very much for watching thank you so much for the love i get in the comment sections guys i've not put up videos in months but i still have comments on my previous videos and so much love and support some of you reach out to me via emails via dms on like other social media networks and i just want to say thank you because it means so much to me in the spirit of being grateful i want you to reach out to people that you're grateful to have in your life in 2020 and tell them how grateful you feel to have them in your life so reach out to someone today and tell them how grateful you are to have met them to have experienced their friendship their kindness their love or even if it didn't end well but you're genuinely grateful that you met them or had a certain experience with them i want you to thank them and just end the year on a positive positive note do you have a wonderful 2021 i'm just putting my expectations it's like something we say here in nigeria vibes and inshallah like what will be will be so we just vibes and 
just work towards my goals and whatever happens i take it in good faith if that's anything 2020 has taught me is don't tight anything to your chest take whatever that comes in good faith have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>